we're yeah. working with about 700 pieces of pottery. Uh, we're almost finished now, putting in the last few shelves. Each piece is stacked um, on little pieces of clay called wadding, and that keeps the clay from sticking to the shelf. This will eventually be bricked in and uh, heated up to about 2,375 degrees. At that point, we'll throw salt into the kiln, which vaporizes and creates the glaze on the pottery. It's a traditional salt glaze from the 1800s. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm one of the potters here. I'm actually breaking out the door of the kiln at the moment. So these are what we call refractory fire bricks, which can withstand the intense heat that's going to be created inside the kiln when we're firing. And as far as this part that I'm breaking right now, we alternate the orientation of the bricks. Some are vertical, some are horizontal, very tightly packed together. So none of the heat escapes from the kiln out in this direction. We also are going to hang a sort of fire, fire retardant blanket on the front of it as well. And this is the last step before we actually turn on the heat in the kiln and start firing. It takes us about five days to fire, two days to warm up, and three days to do the bulk of the actual heat work. So we spent the rest of this week actually stacking the kiln. Once I get up to about this level, then we'll actually be putting this in place, which are bricks that were actually carved to fit the shape of that arch exactly. And then we finish you know, sort of filling that in with uh, fire retardant, uh, what we call kale wool. So it's like a sort of cotton-like substance that can also withstand this heat. So we're going to start warming up the kiln. It takes about two days. And then over the next three days, we're going to get the kiln up to 2,380 degrees. So you know, it takes a fair amount of time. This is a really large space, and so that the heat builds up very gradually. We've got burners right down here, if you want to take a look at those. And those feed a mixture of air and gas into the kiln. They're not forced air burners. It's just that the heat builds up gradually, and you know, there are ways that we can vary the amount of heat that is fed into the kiln. And then it cools down for about 10 days. And at that point, we'll take all these bricks down. All this work will be finished, and these pots will be hopefully very beautiful. It's always a really dramatic sight to see this when it's finished.